Yeah, never be afraid to make a mistake, man. And you know what, yeah? I did say earlier, you know, don't tell people about your ideas and stuff like that. But there's a fine line between just talking, yeah, talking cheap, yeah, just chatting shit. Say, oh, yeah, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, and not do nothing. And there's a difference between actually discussing your ideas with people. But you know what, yeah? Multi, you, it's best just not say nothing. I, I, like, mention it every now and then, right? But the reason why I said there's no point in you fucking saying nothing is because of this red tape mentality. What did I say, yeah? Every time, yeah, someone talks about doing some new idea, the first thing these fucking pussy holes come out with is how wrong it could go. That's all you hear. That is all you flipping will hear. Now tell a man about, oh, yeah, I'm gonna start buying and selling cars. Oh, you know, this insurance and that's expensive. And, oh, you know, people take months to sell cars and shit like that. Well, if that was the case, no one would be doing it. Yeah? Man call me up, oh yeah, man, I wanna, you know, become NIC, EIC registered or whatever, and I wanna up the levels in it. Oh, everyone I've spoken to has told me, yeah, man, it's all difficult and that. God, don't listen to them fucking idiots. Yeah, yeah, it's difficult, yeah? But that don't mean that you shouldn't go for it. They're telling them, oh, it's difficult, stay away, no. If it's difficult, that means it's worth having. That's the way I see it. Yeah. Them man there probably would, would even know where to start. That's why they think it's so difficult. They're projecting their insecurities. They're projecting their lack of self-motivation on other people. Man phoned me up. Yeah, I want to get into property renovation. Everyone I've spoken to is telling me about red tape this, red tape that. None of them idiots are doing it themselves. That's why they're telling you that you shouldn't, because they don't believe in themselves. It is, it's hard, man. I, I get it, because I've even had people around me tell me that they think my ideas are dumb and that, and like, you just, you know, this is just one of those things. You have to, I wouldn't even say be, be like thick skin, but you're just going to have to know how to just filter through the bullshit and just actually identify these people as losers basically they're losers yeah they're losers in themselves and they're losers because they try to crush other people's dreams because they're lo that, that 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 is that is it you, you, they're a loser they don't do it themselves and anyone who's talking about doing it they're telling them that they shouldn't the epiphany of a fucking loser not wanting to help push and motivate the people around them. It's a while on the same people want to drag you down for the sake of it. That's just who they are. They, as I said, as I say many times, that there's people. They want. They, they don't mind being your friend when you're at the same level as them. But you start earning six figures. You live in a mansion. You start driving a Bentley. They will hate you for it. They won't look at you and think, you know what, yeah, let me take a leaf out of this guy's book or this girl's book, yeah, and go down the same road as them. Yeah. They will hate you for it. They'd rather hate you for it than put in the same amount of work as you. That's the, the mentality of a loser. Yeah. Sitting there on the sideline and just... Yeah, gossiping behind people's back and 